Hi guys, welcome to SQL Server Reporting Services Tutorial Series. In my, in my last video, I explained you how to create this drop down using some static values. These values are not coming from the database. I have uh, specified these values with the help of parameter. So you can see here in available values, I have specified these values. And these values are passing to uh, my expression. Here you can see fx here i'm taking uh, these values whichever i'm selecting from the uh, drop down those values i'm accepting here okay the, all these i have explained in my previous tutorials um, okay guys so in this video what i want to do is instead of uh, passing some static values i want to fetch uh, values from my table for that I, I need to create a table in my SQL Server Management Studio where I need to um, enter some, some set these many set of values into my table and then I need to refer the table here ok so let us go to SQL Server Management Studio uh, this is my instance SQL Server instance then come to databases click on databases click Northwind database table and uh, right click on tables then click new table enter id integer and not null age limit value ok this one is also integer and not null now make it as a primary key ok save it dbo dbo dot page limit and now click ok now see here and now go to design mode sorry add it top 100 top 200 rows ok now add some values 1 and 5 2 10 3 15 4 20 ok save it and uh, now I need to refer this table in my in my visual studio reporting services now come here now now we need to create one data set click on add data set data set score page limit table use the data set and use the share data uh, set connection and select that uh, newly created table see if you uh, you have no i don't have any uh, table which I have created right now so just refresh it and you will see another table where it is ok you can see this table here then add it close it select both the fields and click ok click ok ok you have the, you have, uh, the values uh, and uh, id and page limit value uh, from the table now to fetch these values you need to go to page limit parameter right click on that and go to parameter properties now instead of these just click none instead of uh, instead of the uh, passing some static values i want to get values from my query okay now here asking you to select the data set i will select the data set which i have just created and give it uh, give it a value of give it a value which will display the id value will be id and label will be page limit ok value sh value and uh, label should be the same because value should be the value which i am uh, selecting from the drop down ok so click ok now preview your report 
see you can see here these values are coming from the database not from the static values because I have disabled the uh, static values which I had uh, passed in my last video if you want to see you can see here uh, these values I am getting from my database so click ok come here select 10 you will see 10 records ok select 15 you will see 15 records okay guys i hope you like this video and i hope you understand these uh, procedures okay if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching